hey guys good morning it's king rubber coming to you guys with another video so before i get this video started let me do some house cleaning some disclaimers if you see a bless your heart comment from me under a certain comments it's because i didn't read the comments i really didn't read the comments i didn't get interested because if the first word come out of your mouth is like oh that's her child oh why are you making videos about her child she knows what's wrong with her child i'm not going to finish reading what you have to say because you're coming off defensive off of somebody you don't know and yes you could say i don't know her but common sense has not failed me yet shoot instinct has not failed me yet so i say all that to say I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not going to tussle. I'm not going to windmill. Mm -mm. I'm not even going to justify my video because if you listen to my videos, you've listened to, if you've listened to my videos, if you've listened to my videos, and I repeat that three times because some of you guys don't get it. I've said this girl knows what's wrong with her child. I've said her family knows. I said Bloom know. Wack know. They all know. I said it's her child. She does not have to disclose it. But since she forced the baby on us when she gave birth, why not force the rest? When Beyonce had her baby, her baby was her t birth was not televised. When J Lo had her baby, her twins, it was not televised. When Sierra had her kids, it was not televised on the Instagram or anything. Christian wanted this baby to be on the internet. No, the baby's on the in internet. No, it's a problem. So be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. And now you guys want to pick and choose what should be put out from what shouldn't be put out, what should be discussed or what should not be discussed. To address a few of the comments, somebody got in my comments and said, oh, you hate this girl and her family. Why would I? When you compare my 23, 24 to hers, they're not the same. When you compare my life now to hers, it's not the same. Even at 23, 24, I wasn't thinking so reckless. I had children by then, and I was moving towards making my children's life better, not making it worse. Not everything was for click views and gigs and think, oh, it's about the algorithm. Oh, it's for cloud. It's for cloud. It's for cloud. I'm cloud. I'm cloud. I'm the cloud. You want cloud? Cloud. They need to tax you guys for using that goddamn word. Every time you turn around, you guys using cloud like it's like it's a um, financial exchange. What? Is you you guys just run with something just to run with it? Hate on her for what? The reason I put the videos out is to show awareness that it's not okay to show people that think it's okay that a normal eight months old does not need to be held sitting on somebody's lap or held in somebody's hand. They sit on their own. They're grabbing things. They're not there just like a zombie. They're just not there like a mannequin. Hit the mannequin challenge. Barely blinking, just staring into space. A normal eight months old will hold their bottle on their own. They will make nice, grab stuff. A normal eight months old, when their mom is in their face or talking, they're following her voice, head turning left and right, trying to catch up, following where she's going, crying, want to get picked up, want to be held. What are we saying? You guys are losing it because you guys want to be a fan. And not the fan, the free, the one that Kendrick talk about. Freaky, that kind, because y'all are weird. You guys getting comments talking about, oh, you're hating on a baby. So when people discuss how an Ellie Chopper's baby is developing, that's not hating. But when we discuss her is not developing, it's hating. Why? Because you compare it. When has comparing been hate? When has comparing contrast been hate when that's something you taught in school? Because you guys want to feel sorry for the child. Now you guys were all for it when she had the baby on the internet. Did Beyonce have um, any of her children on the internet, on IG or on the internet? Did Sierra? Did Summer 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 Walker did? When she posts her child, what does she do? Post her child with a filter over the face. What are you guys talking about? Did This is a billion dollar baby we're talking about. She wanted this. So now you guys are upset that she's getting it, but if she's not getting it in the way you want, oh, somebody said, okay, so what are you going to do? What am I going to do about what is it? My child, I'm talking about it so somebody else doesn't fall for the shenanigans, so somebody don't think this is normal, so somebody else don't think it's okay. Again, another person was like, oh, you are hating on this girl and her family. Okay, let's dissect that for a minute. <clears throat> what did I say that was hating on Eugene Malone, Eugene A. Malone? That's spending has forty more years on his bid. That's been locked up for some years and still have forty more years. That's getting out at twenty thirty eight. What was the heat in that? When I talked about Tessa and her kids and she's been locked up, what was the heat in that? It was all facts. When I talk about Mookie being locked up and has fourteen charges and he's looking at ninety to life, the judge want to give him life. That is facts. They post it on their internet. They post the brother on their pages. It's all fair use because it's on the internet. When she posts a baby on the internet, it's fair use. 
Oh, you want us to have pity because he's a baby. Well, unfortunately, the baby got born into a world by two raggedy ass parents. <clears throat> not his fault. Like I just responded. He did not ask to be here and he did not ask to be posted on the internet. So that's where, that's all his part in it comes and play. So how can you hate on a child that never asked to be here or never asked to be posted on the internet? Y'all sound, re- y'all sound ridiculous. Anywho. What have I said about Tifa? But the fact that the nephew seem like he's embellishing some of the stories in China, some like she lying from start to finish. The only person I've talked on is China, Chastity, and Krishana. I talk about the mom charges, Alila, and the dad charges. So where is the hate? Because you guys want to fan out? Because you guys don't want to hold her accountable? Because you think when you don't hold her accountable, she's going to do right? Do right by who? If you watch my videos, I've said many times... She knows what's going on with that child. I also said she doesn't have to tell anybody. But since you wanted to put the baby on the internet, then tell the people so they could get off her back. Say, oh yeah, take him to the doctor, but I don't want to disclose his situation. Who's going to be mad at her for that? I mean, people might still rag on her, but that would be her truth. She doesn't have to. But you're not going to sit there and feed me, put peanut poop in my eye and tell me it's peanut butter. You're not going to sell me no pussy in a bag. And the Caribbean people who knows, knows. You're not going to sell me no pussy in a bag. Y'all different. Y'all are different. Grown people be in my comments. And I'll be looking at y'all like, yeah, boy. That's why the world going to hell in a handbasket. You're the same ones that listen to these um, influencers and these celebrities telling you who to pick from, who not to pick. People talking about, oh, so when, when you compare and contrast Trump and Biden... Is it hate when you say, oh, Trump say um, he's been accused of all these things. So is it hate or is it the truth? When you compare, when people say, oh, Biden's sleeping and he's giving away American money and he's not doing this. Is it comparing the truth or is it hate? Your guys pick and choose. The truth is the truth no matter the age of the child. Either from womb to the tomb. That girl soaked that baby, marinated that baby in alcohol. Not even chase. She take the Hennessy to the head. She took, and I will put the video again to remind you slow people that this was the life she chose. She, see, this life didn't choose her. She chose it. And even if the life chose her, she should have did something positive with it. When I came out, when Papa Smurf first came out and I, I was one of the one person that said, this man wants clout. He's, oh, oh, he does not want clout. He's the one that stays in the back scene. You guys are hating because he's loving on his grandchild. You hate because he love on his grandchild. Do you guys really don't have any discernment? You guys just get on the internet and look at stuff and be like, yes, bitch, yes, yes, bitch. Is that what y'all do? Do you not just sit down and analyze? Do you realize that my life, when I was in the military, is to sit down and analyze and make sure stuff was how it is supposed to be, not just how it looks? Do you realize that as a nurse, I have to make sure things is what it is. I'm not the one a nurse that, like I said, have a stethoscope and a stunning cup and a, that's it, don't care. If your Krishan took that baby to any doctor and they had to report, somebody said, oh, if she had a weed in her system, they wouldn't let her leave the hospital. Um, did y'all not see the text she sent, Blueface, that she was smoking before she went into labor? Y'all swear you know how the system works, and y'all swear that she wouldn't get away with certain things. She was in labor with a full makeup, nails, and chains around her neck. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? You have to be stripped from everything when you're going into labor. Or you guys missed that part too. No nurse or nobody's going to be responsible for none of that. And usually you can't even record. You could take pictures after the... I mean, they could record them lying. But you can't go live. They're not going to let you go live. What if something go wrong and they catch it on the live? Or they say something and they turn around and sue them. It's a liability situation. So you could record your stuff. And you see people record... When the baby comes out or there's just certain part of the birthing process that they will let you allow you to record or they will just let you show certain things. Or once the doctors know that they're recording, they will say certain things. They will have to stay within a realm that they don't get a lawsuit behind it. <clears throat> so I don't understand why you guys are acting like this was not for the sh- this was not. See, when you when you play in the Lord's face and somebody told me and you talk about God, why? Because I don't play with him like Krishan does. So that makes me not know. Him. I don't have to go to church to know. Him. I know what he's done for me. I, I've never sat down and said my mama taught us how to pray while we 
we honor live people, we essay people, we end people, we are people, we sell rugs to people, we use rugs, pregnant and unpregnant and not pregnant. We lie, we manipulate, we beg, we steal, we cheat. What are we talking about? That's in the whole bloodline. It's in their blood. It's not even on them. It's in their blood and they haven't changed it one bit. But I'm hating because I'm drawing awareness to BS. I'm hating because I'm drawing awareness to BS. She did a lot of things and you guys co-sign it. That's why she acts like she's untouchable and there's no repercussions to her behavior. And that's why she's feeling it now. CP, I wanna, I was one that said she should not put the baby on the internet. I was one of those ones. No, I can't speak for everybody else because I don't watch everybody else's video. I'll be on the lead attorney's video and different stuff. Because <clears throat> I like law. I really do. Um, Why post them on the internet? Just because you want to get views. She used that baby like she used blue. She lied about blue situation. But then you have people, oh, blue, blue, blue is going to do this X, Y, Z. Blue and all of them, I'm going to, oh. I'm going to play some of the audio and you guys could go on the Vlad YouTube page and watch, look at Wax interview. Now Wax talking about, oh, he told us I'm going live. They're going to come. They're going to come and he's probably going to have to replace the door. I don't feel sorry for none of them. They're all hindering a fugitive. He know where she's at, but people are like, oh, he hate her. He hate her. He hate her so much. Then why hasn't he called her PO? He has access to the door. He could be like, I'll be at the house X, Y, and Z. Have her over there if he hates her that bad because you guys swear everybody hates her. He could really set her up and get her p picked up. But y'all are so stupid. -o. But he's also helping because, oh, Blue, you feel sorry for Blue. Blue is in there because of her. Blue can't help himself. But she's trying to hold out. I think he could help her when it's a violation. And maybe he, she will get a slap on the wrist so she could come up here and pop her ish. Because she said when her dude come out, she'd be outside. And y'all keep saying the stuff wrong. Krishan got served at her game in California. She did not get served in a game at Oklahoma. I mean, at Colorado. Colorado was when they sent the, PO, the police at her. That's why she was nervous. And then she got on live and said, oh, the police is with her because all she knows how to do is lie. And you guys feel talk about blue. Blue lie with her. That's why they leak so, um, my supporter that was in the DMs with this morning, like she said something to me that is funny because we were talking about Carlissa and I was like, I never liked the heifer from the get go. And she was talking about, look what she does. And I've been saying that about Carlissa. If you're a Carlissa fan, God help you because that lady has no morals, no scruples, no integrity. But Blueface found his Carlissa in Krishan. Said that many times before and I will say it again. She set the path. She set the tone for who he was going to be with. And that's what she did. She picked her. blue. F she, she picked his mama. His, a version of his mama in a female. It's not love. It's bonding of a foolishness. And she's not trying to fix her relationship with her son. And he's not going to try and fix his relation himself to be a better person for that relationship. But yet... You guys are like, oh, they're hating on her. They're talking about her child. Oh, and for the person that says, um, I didn't want to talk about when she had the baby in the tub, playing in the tub, sitting up. What's sitting up? Who puts a baby in a tub and puts a towel, a towel in the tub soaking wet to put them weight? Like the stuff she does makes sense to y'all, really? You put the towel on the side when you shower them so you could put them. Who puts a, wet, a towel in a tub? To hold him down, to put some weight on him or to give that illusion. Because she probably had the rest of the towel in the back of him. Making it seem like he's sitting up. What towel? What tie? What, what, what toy? The toy that she put enough so he could feel it. And then he feels it. And then she, the way she used the camera angle to make it look like he's grabbing it. And then when he holds it because he feels something. Because he's feeling something. Do you guys realize that this baby never really, she has to be in his face yelling for him to be grabbing for her or anything. It's not like he's any baby that sees their mom and be fussing and want to be at their mom. The baby just stared out in space, dead eyed. Dead eyed. Oh, you guys talk, all you do is talk about her. Well, you have people that all they do is talk about baddies. You have people that all they talk about is cases. You have people that all they talk about is hip hop. You have people that all they talk about is rappers. You have people that all they talk about is Shamar. You have people that all they talk about is Diddy. So, your point? 
I could sit here and give you guys example behind example of the nonsense you say on my page that you really could just click off and go. Nobody forcing you guys because you sit there and you hear what I'm saying, but you choose to repeat or regurgitate nonsense. Nonsense. I remember when I first started my page, there was a, I think she was a researcher. She was somebody t um, high in the medical field. I can't remember what she said her job was. And she said she was literally be arguing with people about how Krishan behaved and people were arguing her. I remember even one time I had one person that was arguing with me, writing me books about, oh, you are a nurse, so you should be compassionate. Compassionate for what? For what? Do you realize that it's a choice? It's not that she's forced? I'm compassionate because she grew up hard. You know many people I've worked with that grew up hard but turned their life around? I'm trying to see where the sense comes in. Compassionate for what? You know what I'm compassionate when I see these people get on YouTube and see these people on the street and get pay them pay food and get them in the hotels and get them off the street. That's something you're compassionate about. You show sympathy because these people turn their life around. This girl is not on the street. This girl is not hungry. She's over there manipulating and want a life with somebody that is as toxic as she is. She doesn't want better. She wants sympathy and payola. And y'all give it to her enough, so why would I be the second another man with it with it? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What has Krishan done that you could say, oh, yeah, besides wearing chains and telling y'all y'all broke, she could buy y'all life because she's so rich. What has she done? Just throw the fact that y'all broke in her face. I literally could tell you about stuff that people have said to me in the comments. I remember one nurse argued with me talking about, oh, you're jealous of her because she's young and rich. What? Are you shitting me? I'm jealous because she's young and rich, so I was never young at one time. And what makes you think I'm not young now? Secondly, I'm je jealous of her because she's rich in what? Because she says so? Because the way she living isn't proving that. The way she's not wearing socks when she put on them cleats, not showing that she's rich. Or them um, shoes that she wear for football is not showing that she's rich. The way she be wearing medium size Shorts that she probably have yeast infection on top of yeast infection. Her poor pom pom can't probably even breathe the way she be wearing them tights up up her crutches. I'm jealous of what yeast infection. I'm mean, jealous because she said she's rich, but if you look her network up, is that what they're saying? She doesn't even have a car, bro. She doesn't even have a car, bro. She Ubers like everybody else. She lives in a neg Negro's house and is happy because they don't fight because he's not a wrong, bro. She has a child that she's using because she messed the baby up and did the wrong things when she was pregnant. She turned around and said, oh, I will stop smoking and drinking for football, but couldn't do that for her own unborn child. I will put a clip at the end of my video where they asked her, what is she expecting about motherhood? And you're going to sit here and tell me that this girl has some connection to her child when she couldn't even answer the question of what she's looking forward to. She had the baby to stay Win Blue's life. That's it. That's all. And the sad part, she didn't even have to. Let me just say this right here. The way he said she's cheated and he kept her, he took her back time and time again. She didn't have to have the baby. She did the baby to spite Jaden. It wasn't even to, she did the baby to have spite Jaden to be like, oh, I have, I have something. Because if you look at the video I've done before, I've had videos too, where I've done where she's done everything that that girl has done. I've, I have videos that I posted months ago where she copied the tattoo to the side of her face. She's done it all. She did the baby because she was spiteful that she wanted to do what Jaden does. She wanted the blue that Jaden got, the one that was bringing, buying her push gifts and was taking care of her when, even when they weren't together. That's what she wanted. She didn't want the baby. She wanted what came with having a baby attached to the Negro. But you guys won't talk about that because that would make sense, wouldn't it? And a lot of her fans are like her who don't have sense. And I pray for a lot of you guys. No, I'm not. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm really lying. I don't pray for none of you people that be encouraging that foolishness. See, everything, like, the only thing I agree with whack, you can't hide bullshit. And I've said it in my videos many times. You could hide, this, you could hide it, but you can't hide the scent. A lot of you guys are going to fall on your face when the truth is revealed. When the truth is real, I think somebody came in my comment one day and said, isn't it HIPAA? Okay, you guys talk about HIPAA, 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 HIPAA. You know who can't talk about Krishan's child? is the doctor that's taking care of it. 
The doctor that's taking care of the child cannot talk about the child. That's where HIPAA is involved. If you're a nurse that has never addressed, touched her child or a doctor, they could speak on what and say because they haven't touched the child, but from their experience. Y'all just say anything. HIPAA is if I'm in the, in, in the hospital taking care of your family and then I get in the elevator or I get around the nurse's station talking to the other nurse about the, the child or talking about another family member's child or talking about somebody else's family that I don't take care of or talking about it in front of people that I don't know, that, that is HIPAA violation because you're not keeping it in the nursing area that it's supposed to be. If you talk about it around the break room and there's family or strangers around there or you're talking around it in the hallway and people are walking past you and they could hear the stuff. Or if you're talking about it in the elevator or down the hall in the, lot, in the car parking lot and people can hear you talking about somebody's family and their disorder and their diagnosis, their treatment, all that stuff. If you've never treated, that's why you see when doctors come on YouTube and they do video, they look at Jennifer Lopez and Beyonce and different people and be like, okay, I've never treated from but what I'm looking at look like they had this filler, that filler, this nose job. That that's not HIPAA. You guys just say anything to try to sound smart. And all it has to do is Google and research it. Go on YouTube and research it. What HIPAA is about. Any nurse or doctor can come out here and make an assessment knowing that that's not this patient that they're taking care of. Their honest assessment, not diagnosis, assessment. There's a difference. That's why a lot of you guys are failing your children and failing in life. You're literally failing. Like you said, don't talk about, oh, you hate on her, hate on her for what? And, and, and to carry on, when they said, oh, I hate on her family, what did I say about PD? All I talked about was when he had the arrest behind his situation with um, his baby mother. What bad have I said? We've all said he needs to stay away from her so he could do what he's supposed to do. But it's hate because I'm turning the truth because charity is just like China because there's always two that are the same. That all she does is get on the internet and beg and lie and pretend like, oh, I, I, I want to do because Sean says, oh, because Sean says she's your younger sister, but she's your, she has a battery in your back. You want to speak up when she, oh, because she told you not to. She told you not to. No, your PO told you not to, dummy. You, you're not doing nothing because you ain't never been, you never did nothing. All you've done is gone, like I said, had the video on her too. Well, she's been to jail for stealing and doing illegal stuff and abuse. She ain't been to jail for pop- putting hands on nobody. She swears. They all swear, oh, because Tasiki does it, they all do it. Krishna don't even do it right. And again, for the person that's probably going to be like, oh, say to her face, nobody's scared of her. Right about no, she's scared. She running. She running and she running. She running. Dead ass. She running. Because the, that lawsuit that touched her close, where they gave her that lawsuit paper on the field in California at her first game. Because all you guys have to do is read the date. It was a California game, the first one, May 4th or 5th or 3rd, whatever. That's when she got touched with um, James. Um, James people served her for that lawsuit. She was running to Oklahoma because the police was on her tail. Now she's worried about, she has to worry about which game is she going to get picked upon because now she's seen that every game is something. It's something. It's something. But you guys are like, oh, no, it was a lie. Who's suing you off of a lie? I mean, California is a status lawsuit. It really is. But you think he doesn't have his evidence that his lawyer didn't... That's why I said PDD was talking. James' lawyer told him, right, don't say nothing. So when she was popping it and all that stuff, you know they have all this screenshot of, oh, he this and disrespect and showing the ring. You know they have the lawsuit of her talking spicy. She thinks she's untouchable. And she's always talking through the side of her neck. You know, she's making coffins out the side of her neck because she's talking crazy. But you guys are applauding it. Oh, he's wrong. Oh, where's the video? Oh, where's the video? Oh, where's the video? They show you guys video. You guys still are silly. You guys are still silly. Now what is she going to do? Now she's going to decide that she don't want to put the baby out until Blue comes out. To God that sits high and looks low is not going to let Krishan keep getting away with the stuff. It doesn't matter how much you guys fan out, excuse, make excuses for her to come on the internet and say, oh, her baby's normal. I look at the baby and he's normal. Well, mm, go put your glasses on and try again. And if assessment is not your best bet, don't sit up here and lie because the basic thing you guys are missing. And I want to go on basic. If I could have really got dug into it, I, I really wanted to. But also for the fact that my specialty is psych. 
I look at her behavior more than I look at her child's behavior because we all know he's not developing where he needs to be. I mean, I ask Christ. That's a, that's a fact. It's a Fendi fact. It's a big fact. You could get in my comments and say he's normal, he's fine, he's growing, he's developing. You could be like blue and keep lying all you want to. It's a lie. And it's a lie. And it's going to be a lie. Now, how far he's damaged depends on how much she knows and what she's doing. That is the only thing we won't debate about because at the end of the day, she probably scared to take him anywhere because she knows she has them warrants on her tail. That might be the only reason she does not take him. If any one of you guys came in and come in and say, you know what, maybe she's scared to take him because she doesn't want to get picked up. I could see that. Then let your friend take him. Let your friend take him. Let your yes man take him. So it's still not an excuse, but I could see it. And for Papa Smurf, I'll show the video where he was on the club um, um, touching on Sky. And I'll show some screenshot from Rebecca that she unfollowed him and said, thanks. I think Zeus tagged her. Zeus T. Hot Page, Hot T. Page tagged her. And she's like, thanks for ta tagging me. And then she showed what he was talking about. Oh, he only loves her, whatever, whatever. And I was laughing because you guys said that he was not cloud chasing. How can he not? How can he not cloud chase when that's all they do in our family? Look at Carlissa's ducktail. That's all they do in the family is cloud chase. That's all they do. You think it's going to get better when Blue get up? Please. I saw somebody said they're over the storyline next. And I'm at that point too where it's like, yeah, next. She's going to get, she's going to get, the sad part, I, what I think is going to happen with her, she's going to get picked up when she least expects it. She's going to be feeling so safe and secure. And that's when she's going to get picked up because she's playing these games. Her violation is still a violation. Her violation is still a violation. Her talking about, oh, she tasted the food that the baby, I saw a video of somebody posted where she said, oh, she tasted baby food. She checked the, she gave him organic stuff. That doesn't make you a good parent because you give him organic stuff because uh, if he has a fever, okay, so do you give him a bath? Do you do cooling measures? Let's talk about it. You guys don't want to have that conversation. Oh, the organic stuff. And the person was like, oh, I'm so proud of, proud of you of what? Because you give him organic stuff, but did you give him organic banana when you tried to stage that he was eating? Since you're giving him organic stuff for fever. Like, you guys get impressed with the stupidest thing. That's what she's supposed to do. Be a parent. You guys praise her for being a parent? If she was so broken because her mother was not there for her, why would she do that to her own child? Why? <clears throat> why? Because y'all made her feel like she could do anything. It made her feel like she was on top of the world. It made her feel like she was this great person. But you never held her accountable. You never said, girl, sit down, you're pregnant. You Nobody, Blue was over there giving her, from 1942, she was chasing it with lime. But somebody was like, oh, it's a non-alcoholic. You don't even know if it's a non-alcoholic drink. Sure. Whatever you say, dummy. Whatever you say. Because I never had to chase a non-alcoholic drink with a lime yet in my life. Ever. I don't even suck lime like that unless I'm sick in a club drinking and chasing with lime. Pregnant. It's going to be attached at the end of this video again to remind you that she was like, give me another bottle. I could abort the baby tomorrow. I will attach that video again. Again. The Lisa's like, oh, she found out she was pregnant at five months and then she stopped. I will attach the video again where she found out she was pregnant in January. And you guys lie. You lie like her. That's why y'all feel sorry for her. Because y'all probably was lying to y'all baby father. Y'all probably was trying to trap a Negro with a baby. And it ain't never worked. It never worked in your grandmother's days, your great-grandmother's days, your great-great-grandmother's days. It won't work in these days. In your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren days. It don't keep a man. A baby never saved anything. A baby never did nothing for nobody. So stop acting like they do. Stop acting like baby changes things. They don't. They make whatever bad complicated. And a disabled baby with a mentality, with a child with a mentality of a 12 year old. Like y'all literally say this girl is sane when Blueface fell in love with a child mentally. And when I hear you guys say, oh, she's young, she's young. Y'all should have said she was young in the brain. Because that's all she's young in, the brain. She's... Oh, silly rabbit tricks her for kids. She's such a silly goose. She's such a silly goose. The stuff that she does. And y'all gonna try and convince me that mental illness is not running down from the tip of her hair to... From the strand of her hair to the tip of her feet? 
You trying to tell me that all the stuff that her mama was doing, this girl is not mentally ill? Y'all look at this package and say, oh, yeah, she's so beautiful. She's so smart. She's so intelligent. She's such a great businesswoman. She's such a great girl. She's so um, self-sufficient, integrity. Y'all don't see that when y'all see Krishan. Y'all do not see that when y'all see Krishan. Y'all see a lost soul. And before I go, my last comment, somebody said something about it was 36 minutes or something. I didn't finish reading it because I know she was on some BS. And I was like, so you sat and watch it. Thank you, Buki. Thank you, Buki, but for sitting and watching. Because y'all watch and you still complain like it's going to change the fact that the baby is not developing where he needs to be. The mother is mentally ill, allegedly. And the father is a clown, like the grandparents, because Carlissa is clown. Just like Papa Smurf is a clown. And Rebecca should have left the first time. But Rebecca was in the boot with Papa Smurf talking about we're making a distract next, encouraging the foolishness. That's why I don't feel sorry for none of them because every one of them is getting bit by that snake. And everybody is paying the cost because none of them will have no peace because there's nothing good, no good energy around none of them in that house. Talking about, I know it was going to happen when he moved in the house. He doesn't want to work, baby. You you in love with a 50-50, 55-year-old that doesn't work. And does Uber. And whack. Now he's talking about all all this. Whack pick a side. Because at the end of the day, you don't even know what side you want to pick on. And for the people talking about, oh, he's always talking about her. He was asked. He was asked. Let's, let's, if we're going to be anything, let's be for real and stop being delusional. He's answering questions that he's asked. He just didn't get on the internet and say, oh, you know what? They're going to kick on the door. Someone have to replace the door. Or he just saying, oh, she likes cloud. The cloud the demon. He was asked. And it, nothing he said was a lie. All he's doing is saying a little bit too late. Because at the end of the day, Blueface is still not going to listen. And if he get locked up, I don't feel no way. It's not no free Blueface till it's, till it's, the other, till it's turned around or until he's free. It's, you know, he's going to take it as ill like the rest of them. He has to. And when when Blueface put up car. Krishan, Krishan had an opportunity to do better. She was on the internet talking about, oh, um, I'm going to do right this, that, and her. Just, just selling herself old tickets. She wasn't selling me any. When he got locked up, she still had an opportunity to do better. What did she do? Stop everything and sat in a house because she had warrants. Not because he told her. Not because she's locked up by him. Because she has warrants. And her sister was a fugitive too. Yes, Charity was. They run and they run, but they can't hide. But until next time, and I'm gonna start doing a series where I start, I'm gonna start talking about these um, comments that you guys be putting in my page. Y'all still on the page of the milestone complaining, and I'm like, bro, can we grow up, please? Can we just grow up? Let's 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 stop, let it stop, stop, roll, and cut it out. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time. Again. If anybody, if people can talk about baddies every week, every other day, I'm going to talk about what I want too. If people can talk about Puffy, Drake, all this stuff every day, I'm going to talk about what I want to. You're not going to convince me that the baby is normal. You're not going to convince me that I said she has to tell us anything. I said she doesn't have to. But since she wanted to make this baby broadcast and bring him to the internet, she's going to have to take this L spooky. And so unfortunately, because the child had no say so, it's his parents' fault, so he gonna have to take the L with them. Cause when the captain go down with the plane, so does his co-pilot. And if you miss that, too bad. But let me help y'all out, cause somebody will miss it. She's the pilot. The child is just on. She is a defenseless child. Nobody's talking bad. Talking bad would have been like what um Soldier Boy did. And what um, Charleston Heston, Charleston White did when he talked about, oh, you know, Blueface and Christian are going to have a re baby. And you know, the baby going to be disabled and he probably won't make it. That was talking bad about the baby. But y'all are, are slow. Y'all are ridiculous. Y'all don't know what talking about the baby is. And I feel sorry for a lot of y'all. I really do. I don't know if I feel sorry for you more than I feel for Christian. Because at least you look at her and you could tell she's mentally challenged. Looking from outside, and you could say mentally something is wrong with her. But what are your guys' excuse? You guys are mentally challenged too? Okay. Bet. But until next time. Until next time. Peace. And one thing before I go. If y'all didn't realize that something was off of Krishan. Mentally. Allegedly. Mentally challenged. Allegedly.
when that girl was on that school school field, the uh, school field in Colorado, and she said the police is right here with me, and she showed them security. Something didn't click in y'all head like, yeah, no, this ain't it, Pookie. This ain't it. Like, something didn't click at you guys. When she went and had have the baby with jewelry on, nails on, everything. Something didn't click at you guys when she said, oh, when I looked at him, he looked like his organs was coming out. That was her seeing her baby for the first time. And if you guys seen the picture, you know how he looked like a, he looked like a squash. The shape of it was like a squash from his belly to the hernia. Y'all didn't think something was mentally challenging with this girl? Allegedly, first of all, taking out the tooth was something mentally challenging. And with the tooth, and I don't know if I did the video, and I think I did, but like I said, with um all the stuff that she's done, the way she talks, the way she laughs, like the sinister laugh when Blue was talking to her and he had the tattoo. How did he find this? You know what? Blue might be mentally challenged too. So there goes that. That kind of answers that. He might be mentally challenged too because his father and his mother show the hell is. They show is. I wish my parents would act like we would have fooled. I would have been like, and for the parents, for the parents, I think your child cannot talk to you and because we're parents, we're always right. I have that real belief that we are all humans. We can be wrong. As parents, you could be wrong too. And I believe that Blue got a, he got a shitty hand. He got a shitty deal because his parents ain't ish. His parents ain't ish. And it's funny <clears throat> And I'll I'll clock I'll clock it off. I'll lock it off in the next four minutes. Let me let me let me let go of these bars. I saw a preview of they were asking Carl not Carlissa Calloway what she thought about Tessiki. And she said, Well, at first she was kinda, you know, signing off because she don't know if Carl Tessiki was there to defend her sister. And it was funny because it was like she said, then we got to talk about it. You know, I got jumped by my brother. She got jumped by her sister. So we have like a, this understanding. But yet you were talking about, oh, when you looked in Carl Krishan's eyes, she looked like she didn't want to do it. Now you understand where Tessiki is coming from. The whole family is bird. Because girl, what? No, you just didn't want to fight that girl. Just say that. And I get it. If Tosiki has her own mind, that's why I was saying she was older. If I, if my sister, if I told my sister older sister to do something stupid and she do it, she's the idiot because she's older than me. Every one of them, Tareen should not have gotten online because when somebody said, "Oh, I talk bad about the family," Tareen, that's the only thing that turned me off on her. She should have never got online and told to Trishan. If you said it was a hit, it was a hit, and to, to Latifa should have did it. Like you're the oldest one of them all, the Malones. The Malone, so don't come in and come and say that's not the oldest sister. The Malone's, Tareen is the oldest girl. Then there's Eugene, the oldest boy. They're born the same year. Why would you even say that? Like your sister is a god, and oh, you're giving hits, but you were born in a church. You guys praising the Lord and at church every Sunday, but have the like <clears throat> your thoughts become things. They say the weirdest things, and I think they think like it too. That's why I don't believe nothing they talk about when they're about church, church, church. I mean, they're so about the church, and just say, oh, my mother taught us how to pray. That's our weapon. But yes, you, your sister won't let your mom kiss her baby. Girl, go to hell expeditiously. They say things that are contradictory and don't make sense. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I got things to do. I just want to leave this here. I will leave the commentary. Go check out Belad. I will leave the recording of... Whack talking to Vlad, go check his video. Like I said, y'all talking all this mess. Go to the white man's page and complain that he's lying and nothing's wrong with the baby. Go to that white man page. Don't come up here to somebody that does assessment for a living and can look at that foolishness and see that everything that is wrong with it. I call Kalisha BS and I hope she makes it out to Zeus because the way how Zeus is on people's behind and doing foolishness, I hope she makes it out of there because anything that's done not incorrectly will turn out wrong. Because they're doing out of spite, greed, and money, it will turn out wrong. I hope it works out for her, but because of her energy and her Jezebel spirit, I doubt it. Get your money, Ma. That's all my thing is, get your money. But she's not an honest person. That's why Ray J said he had plans with her. She said she got the um, money, and she went to where the money resides. And I guess all of them are chasing money in 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 celebrity status and they will never get that they will be infamous with celebrity they won't they're all old ladies that are clowns none of them has any integrity tokyo tony was talking bad about china one time carlisa was talking bad about everybody in her family and kia just be on on kia be on rick ross head like girl let it go let that her go 
But until next time, peace. But y'all, y'all love them, and it's funny until it's until they start turning on you, start becoming annoying. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the comments. And FYI, bless your heart is all you get if you're in my comments with the foolishness. Because I ain't got time to read it and I ain't got time to respond to it. I'm done with them. I'm done with that. Do your big one. Peace. You can't be on the run in three, four different states and going live showing everybody where you at is just not smart. But the clout bug makes her forget about all these things and say, fuck it. That's why the police showed up. Right? So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm anticipating going by there changing the door and shit like that because eventually they're going to come. Yeah. And they're going to come how they're going to come. Uh, looking at things now, watching him, because I've been knowing him for a couple years now, and he's been behind the scenes. I don't know what the hell Rock and him got going on, but now he wants clout. So you telling me you're sitting in your car, somebody pulls a gun on you in the driveway. You're able to jump out of the car, run past the gunman, run in front of your car to the walkway, access the first gate to the courtyard, and then run to the door. Put the code in the door, go in and lock the door, <laughs> and the gunman was just oblivious to what was happening. Yeah, yeah, man. He don't wear jewelry. He don't wear... <laughs> if, if the gunman was going to use you to get back in the house, then he's not going to let you... You know, so it's... it's Look. Where the bottle at? Oh my gosh! Drink it. She asked for me another too. bottle. I'm just. Maybe no liquor. Yes, I can. I can abort the child tomorrow. It won't hurt me. No, nah, you can't have cold. no fucking liquor. You don't have a kid. I don't want to have a kid. I got my passport, my license. I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. Fuck you, boy. Where you going? To another country. You still can't have a baby in this country. Life. No. Right. So why do you feel like you need to leave? It's nice. What? We changing the subject. Oh, word. Change it. Yeah. Let's talk about... Yeah, no. The abortion part. Come on. Because you're not... We're not Show doing it. We don't believe in it. Come on. We're not I doing it. I have six. And you That's know. some cornball. Shit. You don't... You're not corny.